Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin and this is our snack for the journey and we are this week we are in the second letter that Paul wrote to Timothy. A very important letter. It was the last letter that Paul wrote. Uh, and he is in, in the prison and he's about to be judged. Probably he will be condemned and he will be executed. So he knows that his days are numbered. He knows that. And he writes to Timothy to help Timothy in the ministry. What are the important things to do in ministry in life that you have to do? You have to know. And this is what Paul is, is telling Timothy in this short letter. Just four chapters. So I'd like to encourage you to read the whole letter. And read, read it again. And read it again. As many as you can, uh, as many times as you can, because it's a beautiful letter. Today we're going to see one of the most important texts about the scripture. Probably is the most famous text, one of the most famous texts in, the, in this letter here. The most well-known text in this letter here that talks about the scripture. We don't have time to unpack, unpack the whole verse. It's a lot of stuff. But just to give you the idea how important it is. Because Paul here is talking about the scripture, the Bible. Look what Paul says, chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Today we're going to see two verses because they are connected. Look what Paul wrote to Timothy. All scripture is God-breathed and it is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the man of God may truly equipped for every good work. It's a lot of stuff here. The, what Paul is telling Timothy here is about the inspiration of the Bible. He says all the scripture, all, not some parts, and this is we need to understand very, very well. All the scriptures, all the scripture is inspired by God. And they are useful. So God used all the authors here to bring together, to write a letter, uh, to write a book, to prophesy, to do whatever, to, to compose a psalm. God, the Holy Spirit, it was working in those people. So they would write what was allowed from God. And, and, and this is the scripture that we have today. This is why we believe from Genesis, all the first chapter to Genesis, all the way to the last chapter of Revelation, we know that all the scripture, they are, the scripture is inspired by God himself. They are word of God and they are useful for us. They are useful for the teaching, to rebuke, to correct, and to train us in righteousness. You want to be a righteous person. The word of God will train you to do that. Do you want to know what is wrong? The word of God will tell you what is wrong. Do you want to know how to correct what is wrong? The word of God will tell you how to correct what is wrong. So that the person of God, the person who belongs to God, may be truly equipped for every good work. You want to work any kind of work. You want to work well, is the Word of God that will help you to be equipped, to be good in what you do in life, not only in the ministry, but in life. So the Word of God is extremely important for all of us, and we need to understand that. This is why it's important for us to read, to meditate, to learn, to practice, to have discipline, to do those things. So we can learn from God and have our lives transformed by this powerful word that is from God. God, when you open the scripture, God will speak to you. This is what you need to know. So this is why you should read the scripture in a regular basis. You study in a regular basis. Meditate 
Memorize if you can. You have to do that. Because the Word is inspired by God. It's a book from God to you and to me. And we need to learn about God, about us, about the ministry, about life, about everything. We learn in the Scripture. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.